if it becomes more practical for us to do what's right, defined in a general liberal human rights sense, if you will, um, then uh, we're going to be more apt to do it than if it's impractical, which is, I think, is why there was no universalist abolitionist movement until the Enlightenment, you know, other, other, as opposed to particularist movements, which aren't, which don't equate to opposition to slavery as such. That, that didn't exist in antiquity. We just didn't have, it didn't, doesn't exist in any of our religious traditions either. It's very interesting, actually, that uh, one of the things that I think people think is most, most universally immoral slavery, there isn't even opposition to it as such until relatively recently in human in, in, in human story you know yeah and i mean it's similar with racism there's no such moral mm -hmm. category until the 20th century none of the great historical teachers on morality from socrates to plato to aristotle to jesus to the prophets of the hebrew bible to the key figures in the new testament to the great islamic jewish and christian thinkers mm -hmm. prior to the 20th century uh, none of them uh, had a moral category of racism.